Austin Dillon has been excited for this weekend's race at Bristol since the moment it was announced. His grandfather and team owner Richard Childress made Dillon race on dirt when he was younger because he felt the experience would be valuable, and it has been. He won the first truck race at Eldora a few years ago, and Dillon won a race at Bristol last week in the 2021 Dirt Nationals. And I think that was a good experience just to see the track. Um, we were pretty dominant in all three of the races we were in. So, uh, you know, I think uh, from the, the knowledge side of things, I can probably do a pretty good job of getting what we need when it comes down to race time. Kyle Larson is the clear favorite, followed by Christopher Bell, but Dylan is right there in the conversation. There's so many good race car drivers in the cup level um, that have dirt experience or some sort of dirt experience that they'll be able to lean on. And NASCAR is having a practice session at Bristol. It could be the most important practice of the year. The communication between driver and crew chief is even more critical. The, the, the thought process has to be so open-minded when we get there to the track. And um, not only are you worrying about uh, the setup, but you're worried about the car. You know, you know, make sure that the heights are right. You're not rolling the nose under. There's a lot of things that we do at a dirt track to just make the car go around the track. The race this week at Bristol is set for 250 laps. That's a very long race for dirt. There's definitely going to be a, a point where there's a dominant line that everybody's going to be fighting for. Um, the one thing, though, that I noticed at the track last weekend that um, you can kind of move around momentum-wise to find speed, which is nice. That's what's great about dirt racing. And um, as the track goes through transitions, it's always going to change. That's what's cool about dirt racing. You have to be comfortable with change because it changes throughout the race. And to be good at it, you got to just search constantly, even when you're the leader. Making it to the front and staying there is the goal for Dylan, who is confident he's really got a shot to be standing in victory lane this weekend.